And again, I've lived in a country where they provide healthcare to you and the system is great. Now, it, it just perspective. If you've never lived in that system, you might think something differently. If you know, I think it's all perspective and experience, and you're going to have a different outlook on it based on that. That that's just the reality of it. So yes, I want healthcare to be provided to everyone, just like you can call a nine one one and a police officer can show up at your house to take care of you. You you should be able to you know your your healthcare should just not be something tied to an employer. I know too many people. I ran my own business. When you ask businesses to provide healthcare to people, that is a nightmare. Uh, it, it immediately ruins any small business that's from zero to 20, 30 employees. You're just like eliminating them. It makes it really hard for them. And so, again, so if, let, if you're an employee and you're tied to where you have to work, you can't switch jobs. I have so many friends that don't leave their job. They hate it, but the, the healthcare is good. That sucks to me. That's a horrible system. That, that's so, just so, my opinion. So, so good. So let's talk about this. So the answer by the Democratic Party was Obamacare. And I would like to describe to you in one minute the Republican answer that you do not know. The Republican Party was going to give every single American person that is legally in this country, not illegally, because we, we're legal, we're legal, to give them $3,000 tax credit for every single adult and $1,500 for every single person 17 and below, where they could buy an, a, a policy that would be uh, like an employer-based, where you would be in a group plan. And that group plan would allow you to have a lower deductible. And then you would be able to, just like anybody else, if they were employed by a company, they would go in in October and they would purchase any of the varieties that they would choose to. And their company would provide probably on a 70-30 split that they would pay for the policy and you would pay except yours and theirs would be pre-tax, pre-tax. Small business does not get that. And so this would allow every single company, every single individual actually, to be able to come in and get a $3,000 or $9,000 for a family of four would give them $9,000 where they could go in just like what you did if you worked at, as I did for 16 years, AT&T, and purchase a group plan. You want to get an HSA, but it would give you that parity that people who work get. So if you didn't want to stay at your job and you wanted to be unemployed, you'd still get you and your wife $6,000. And the first 6,000, then you could get an HSA. Now, it may cost you just as Obamacare does a couple hundred dollars a month, but you would have this. And the advantage is, is that you would be into a plan that reimbursed healthcare providers the same as it would as you worked at AT&T. Now, why would you move down when you could move up? But you see, the narrative, Patrick, is Republicans had no bill. Well, President Obama said that day after day. And so the second time I heard him say it, we said, no, the world's greatest health care plan is exactly where our party is. And the bill is available, Mr. President. You can't say that. Oh, by the way, pre-existing conditions and up to age 26 is in this bill also. But what is also in the bill is parity, because see, this is where the Democratic Party is not for parity. They want poor people or people that are on their system to be on an individual policy, not a group plan, because they're still owned and controlled. Of, is it fair or not that I say this, but wholly owned subsidiary of the unions and the unions didn't want to give up what they had. So they had to say, 
well, you can't have what they've got. Well, the Republican Party says you can have it. And every single person, every single person up to their Medicare eligible, you may have this. And even with Medicare, you could go on this and get the money. I don't understand why, except it's bitter politics of who can control your life. So, Patrick, you now have, I said a minute, it's taking me four minutes. <laughs> we are for, the Republican Party is for every single person having a plan that is parity with pre-tax that gives you the money, lets you go on the same website that I would if I worked at, for the company and Blue Cross and Blue Shield and buy exactly, and the first for a family, the first $9,000 that's your contribution. And it's advanceable and it is where you can get exactly what I've got. And your deductible is a thousand dollars, probably twelve hundred dollars for a family for an individual a thousand. Forget all this Obamacare stuff, seven thousand dollars. I was on Obamacare for eight years. It is twice as expensive. And, and I never used my insurance. Everything was out of pocket because that's the way it's designed. It was not designed to help people like members of Congress and the members of Congress are on it. So Patrick, in fairness, you got to look at both sides. You just can't say. So with that said, what do you think about the Republican plan? Um, you know, I'll be honest. I, I think um, I don't know enough about health care to, to know what would be the correct plan? All I know is as a struggling American, as I'm one of so many, right, that, that decide these elections and so you the know, struggle would go away. You would no. have the same, same or similar that I had at AT&T, where you described where you go to work. You would sure. you wouldn't have to even stay to work that uh, I, I don't know, your term might be a work that sucks where you, something where you don't like it, you would. That, that's most of America, qualify. by the way. <laughs> no, just, I, I don't so believe you know. that. I think I think we Ooh. need jobs. I've, I've no, no. People. I'm saying people work jobs they don't like. That is most of America. I, I don't know about that is. I don't a lot believe of America. I don't agree with that. I talk to guys that every day are out like I was at AT&T, a, a lineman out doing things and they it gets them out of their house and they get to do things and Police officers find great uh, military guys. I, I agree with that, but I'm not talking about police officers. I'm talking about retail, uh, you know, right? Retail workers, uh, service yeah. industry, right? Hospitality hey, hey. industry that makes up a huge part of the industry. Truck drivers, right? These people, they, they have pride and respect. Yet they're probably not telling you the same thing they would tell me over a beer. No offense. Well, um, I, I, I'm willing to accept that. But my point is, do, what do they want to do nothing. No, 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 of course not. People just so in a don't, growing don't economy, like the two you have attached. other chances. And that's where you got to grow the economy. Attached. I just, again, I just don't think the two should be attached. Uh, I think you should have freedom to do your job and not have and to worry not. about, can, can I live if I have this job? And I just saw my not. father and my whole family do that my whole life. And it was absolutely destructive to our whole family. If my father had lived in another particular country that had health care provided for him, we wouldn't have had any of the struggles that we had growing up. And that, that bothers me a lot. You know, I don't, but, I don't know. You know. I know it bothers fairness, a lot of families. He, in, fa no. in fairness, he might not have survived the first one. 